Everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So what we have here is a AL572. Knobs were loose, removed them. Load production drive is damaged. It's actually bent. So I'm going to replace that. I diagnosed an issue the customer said it had. He said that there was no plate voltage, so checked everything over, and it actually has an open secondary in the plate transformer. So needs a new transformer. So I have a new transformer here for it. Someone else worked on this and uh, noticed some issues. The series glitch resistors. They're two in series. Don't seem to be really soldered. I to, I to, actually, which side was it? I think it's this one right here. I think it's over here. Let's see. It's hard to tell, but it can move it in and out of the hole. And yeah, let me just zoom in with the solder joints. Oh, it doesn't appear to have any solder on it. Right there. The one to the right. And look at that solder joint. And then that one doesn't appear to have any solder on it either. So, so I'll fix that. Needs new SO239s. I'll add gas discharge tubes. If they're not present, I'll add them. I'll replace them anyway. Um, this one. So, also needs a grommet for the high voltage wire that goes from series glitch resistor over to the plate choke. And um, touch up on solder joints, tighten hardware, and do whatever else I I need to do along the way. So, I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. So the transformer's out. It was missing the screw right here. So because of that, the floor did not have any support on the side where the transformer was, so it's bent up a bit. So I bent it back the best I could. That's why it's really important to have all of the, the cover screws in, because it gives the case support, structural support. Cord has damage to it not going through the internal conductor just the outer sheath so I'm going on side of the leads cut it and then redo it okay so I'll be back stay tuned I have to change the line fuse holder because it just spins around and around the other one's fine Take the fuse out, and that's not what's causing it. Even with it should stop. Okay, so back to work. Change the two gas discharge tubes. Someone already grounded the grids. I left that alone. I compressed the socket clips carefully. That's all set. Someone put a different screw in. It's nice and tight. So I'm gonna leave that alone, and I'm gonna put the cover back on. I was missing one screw, so. Hey, back to work. Okay, so AL572 is done. Doing a 20 meter test real quick. It's late. The meters are not accurate on here. I have not touched those. This thing needed a lot, so I'll check those after. So I start, always start at 160, work my way up. Customer wanted the video on 20. So the radio is set. So again, that's Measuring forward power, average. I use that to check the input SWR because the other radio doesn't work anymore. This one doesn't have a SWR meter that, at least I can't find one on it, so I have to find the manual. So anyway, so other meters. Got the PP kit in it, one KW slug. Go ahead and get amp. Audio hello, 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 roughly one KW. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. 
amp. I'll show you the radio's doing. Audio hello, we're at about, I'd say about 50 or so watts, roughly. So, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, hello. Audio hello, and she's working. She's working, she's working. Okay, so, I'll work my way up to 10 meters. And then I'll pull the cover off, we'll let the high voltage bleed down, pull the cover off, and show you everything I did. Needed a lot of stuff. Okay. Right. See you soon. So I'm back with the cover off. I'll show you everything I did. It is 11.52 p.m., so I'm not going to mess with the metering. I'm going to talk to the customer first about it. I don't do anything when I'm not 100%, because I'll have to, I'll have to cover off, and I don't want to get electrocuted. This is very dangerous, okay? So do not work on it something like this unless you're qualified you won't get a second chance okay so needed a new plate transformer secondary was open so I got a new one and replaced it here's the old one the newer this was a really old one so the newer transformer has a different bolt pattern for the mounting bracket so I had to drill two holes so that's all set Brand new SO239s from Maxine Systems, awesome company. Brand new Pentalab 572Bs from Pentalabs, awesome company, awesome customer service. So, I cleaned the TR relay slash bias relay with deoxid gold. Cleaned the soft start relay with deoxid gold. Fixed the solder joints on the series glitch resistors. Checked them, they looked okay. I retapped the buck boost to buck I put it to uh, the 245 customer says he has 247 the LEDB I didn't show that in the last video but I, I actually did that to that too uh, it's very important to have that set properly so if it's not you'll have more voltage on the filament and more voltage on the uh, plate and you'll end up uh, degrading the cath the cathode emission life will degrade it you know be they won't last as long and you know, with higher plate voltage, the resistors will run hotter, and the caps are already like at pretty close to their spec. You'll possibly exceed their spec. So someone had done work to this. I know who did it. But I'm not gonna say names. Buy stuff, whatever. I left that alone. It's working. Um, so it might be something funky going on with the meter and because of that person. So this customer, you know, he only, only wants to put some money in it. He already has a bunch in it because of the transformer. And I always tell people to use an external meter. Don't ever go buy the internal meter. You always want an external meter for measuring your output. It's just a relative meter that's in the meter, in the amplifier. Okay, so when I first went to ch uh, test this, it tuned up on 160, but nowhere else. The... Uh, transceiver was seeing a high input SPR, so I wanted to make sure the shaft was aligned properly. It was. So, this is my first. I had to actually replace the input rotary switch. There's contacts on both sides, and the inner side was damaged. So, I took the wall out. I sent pictures of the customer. I took the wall out and um, actually clipped the leads on the old one I removed out a brand new board and I carefully I had to actually cut the board apart to get that because it's double-sided board I won't get into it but I got a brand new brand new one off a new board successfully without damaging it and then I clipped the leads on the old one took them out one by one cleaned the holes and then yeah it was not fun but I got it done I'm proud of myself <laughs> so clean the Band switch with deoxid gold, also clean the new input rotor switch with deoxid gold. I took out the load air variable cap and I replaced the damaged vernier drive. So that's all set. I tighten up on a bunch of hardware. I changed the gas discharge tubes. The other person had grounded the grids, left that alone. It'll work. Um, I showed it before. So um, only do what needs to be done. I don't go crazy overboard. I don't want to open up can, a can of worms and create more work for myself. So learned that a long time ago. So zip tied all the wiring, come off the transformer, and um, yeah, it's not an easy thing to swap this transformer. It's not easy. I've done it about a dozen times. So I got it down, but you gotta take your time because you have the leads go for the, the secondary leads for the 
filament, you know, they run through the wall, and you got a lot going on under there, so don't try it unless you're, you know, unless you know for sure you can do it. Uh, meter protection diode was shorted, so I swapped that, and uh, I think I showed it before I fixed the cord, and yeah, I did, and um, replaced one of the fuse holders because the cap was just spinning, so that's all set. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Next amplifier is a 30L1. It's almost Christmas, so I've been doing a lot of Christmas stuff, hard box stuff. Um, I really wish I had someone I could pay to help, but I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> hard to find people that want to work and that are, you know, take pride in what they do. So I think I'll be a one-man show for forever. So... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, the websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. I don't think I'll have any more videos on before Christmas. So, Harbach will be closed um, for a little bit. Uh, you know, going to take a break. And uh, I'll have the dates posted on the website. So, it's only for like six days so six business like three or four business days something like that four maybe I've, i forget anyway it's late i can't think i will uh post it on the website but thank you again for watching i really appreciate it have a great night 73